Hi everyone, <clears throat> let's talk wheels. For my upcoming bike, I was um, really in doubt of what kind of wheels I wanted to put on it. Um, I knew I wanted some carbon clinchers and they had to be around the 50 or 60 millimeter mark in uh, rim height. Um, on my old bike, I had the Reynolds Aero 58 which have been great wheels. Um, they've served me really good. They're the newer with the uh, Paul Lu design, um, meaning that they're pretty stable in crosswinds. Had pretty good braking in the dry and also pretty good uh, braking in the wet. Of course, they're not going to be alloy um, braking surfaces um, in the wet, but they worked. You just have to modulate a bit and, and get used to it. So for the new bike, I was really, I had three wheel sets in mind. The first was the new Reynolds Aero 65s that just came out uh, this summer uh, with the Industry 9 hubs. The other were the uh, SIP 404 NSWs and the last were the Enray 45s. I also looked at a lot of other uh, wheel manufacturers. Um, I looked at Black Ink, I looked at Boyd, I looked at pretty much everyone I could uh, read about. Um, but I wanted something that could be an all round wheel set. I wanted something that could would be aero enough, that would be stiff enough. Uh, we have a lot of flats here in Denmark, but we also have uh, rolling terrain, meaning that you just basically, uh, a set of 404s four are pretty great for, for the, the Danish roads. I also had a quick look at the old uh, NV 67s, um, but they quickly fell out of the um, short list again. Basically because there were <coughs> newer wheels around uh, that could probably be more aerodynamic uh, and lighter as well. So I quickly took out the Reynolds Aero 65s, not because they're a bad wheel set, but because the 65 millimeter uh, height of the rim was probably a tad too much, even for, for racing, and they're about 1600 grams. So not that heavy, but those are the claim weights. So they're probably more likely to be around the 650, 700 grams mark. That's fine enough if they're error enough, but I wanted something lighter this time. So it's pre pretty much down to the uh, 404 NSWs and the NVs. I've previous, previously had for a short uh, time, the 404 Firecrest, also a carbon clincher and I never really liked them. They were extremely fast when just riding along. They kept their speed really, really nice, but I had serious problems with the, with the brake rubbing the rim, or the rim actually rubbing the brake. So I was a bit concerned with the stiffness of the wheel set. Um, I like their braking surface. I think it looks really cool. Didn't like that they put the logo in the rim. As, as, so it's not a sticker, it's actually molded into the rim. Uh, basically for more aerodynamics, but it just, sometimes you just want to do something and it's easier to pull off a sticker than it is to uh, exchange the entire wheel. So, and I was also a bit concerned about the, the hub design um, with all the recalls that has been lately on SIP products uh, or SIP wheels. You never know, really know what what's going to happen with a, a new hub design from SIP. So the bottom line is I ended up with the NVs. Um, I did a lot of searching to find the the right wheel set. I was actually going to to uh, have them built with uh, with the DT Swiss 240 hubs, but then I came across a site that sold the um, the version with the carbon hubs from um, from NV as well. So these are uh, wheels that are crazy expensive normally, but they were only about 100 euros more than the DT Swiss version. 
So I um, dived in and bought them. And they came this week, actually, uh, in a nice little box. Um, the first thing you know when you open them is that you get this small purse. Um, NV logo on it. On the back here, it has the... Uh, the um, serial numbers of the wheels and who uh, who built the wheels and basically this contains the um, the skewers the brake pads and the um, um, valve extenders um, so the skewers i just weight them they're about 58 grams so actually quite light but of course, you can easily find uh, other solutions that would be lighter, but 58 and a great lever handle doesn't get much better than that. Um, what I liked about the new 4.5s, I read some old reviews about the old 4.5s and basically it seemed to be the, the, the all-round wheel set, um, but they had the problem with the braking. Uh, the braking surface wasn't that great and with the braking in the wet was kind of crappy, but with the newer uh, that came out, I think it was last year, they have the new brake track or called NBT, and you can guess what that stands for. Um, so it seems that they have addressed um, the braking in the wet a bit more. But let's look at the wheels. So this is the front wheel. Um, I believe it's a 46 or 48 millimeter depth. Uh, it's really, really wide. Um, it has this uh, amazing carbon hub, uh, it pr practically doesn't weigh anything, it looks really really great. Another reason why I, I chose this, because this carbon hub is also a new design from, from NV and it's brand new from them. But they offer a 5 year warranty on their rims and on their hubs. So in case something breaks, I'm, I have the 5 year warranty to, uh, to claim. They look really nice, they have the black stickers on them, um, I think it's a 20 spoke uh, in the front. Uh, the weight is about 677 grams uh, and you can actually feel the texture of the brake track. I don't know if you can, if it will wear off with time, it probably will, or and if you can get it coated once again, because it basically feels a bit like a coating. Um, but yeah, really nice wheel set. It has the uh, the U kind of shape uh, that you also know from from the SIP um, and most of the of the newer uh, aero rims. So this is the the front wheel. Um, let's see if we put it down again without it rolling around too much. Great. This is the rear wheel. As you can see, pretty much the same design as the front wheel. It has 24 spokes. Um, and uh, it has, I think it's a 56 uh, millimeter height on height on the, the rim. Um, also a carbon, carbon hub on this one. Um, I can try to see if we can catch the speed of... Oh, pretty good. Uh, 11 speed, of course. Um, this comes in at... 786 grams so the entire wheel set uh, and this is with uh, installed rim tape the entire wheel set comes in at 1463 grams which is about 100 grams lighter than the claim weight of the SIP 404s the SIP 404s of course um, are taller but but these are these are nice they're really nice uh, including with the skewers, we're talking 1520 grams or something like that. Um, so, so a pretty good weight. What you can hear in the background is my son waking up. His mom is with him, so don't worry. Um, I can't wait to try these uh, out on the road. Probably will be uh, quite a while uh, still. They have been tested. I think they're they. Um, recommend that you use a 25C tire on the front and a 28 in the back. But for me, it will be the 24 in front and 26 in the back, uh, because I usually ride the, the S-Works uh, turbo tire. Um, so these should should be really, really fast, really, really responsive, and also great in the crosswind. So I'll probably be able to use them as 
the go-to wheel of choice like I did for my uh, Aero uh, 58s from uh, Reynolds. So that's about it. I'll of course get back with the review as soon as I've done some uh, kilometers on these. Um, they look amazing. I'll also post pics of the complete build um, when it's done uh, along with weights and everything else. But uh, that's about it for now. Uh, I'll see when I'll have the chance to make a new video about some new components. It could be the saddle, it could be the group set. Uh, let's look at it. For now, bye.